care company says that your lawn's too dry and you need to water more often. Well, if you're like me and have an automatic irrigation system, sometimes you don't know how to adjust the time for watering. That's why today we'll be taking a look at the top two manufacturers of irrigation controllers and how to adjust their timers so that you can change your watering habits and give your lawn the water it needs. We'll start first with the Hunter brand irrigation system. All their controllers are programmed the same way. When you open it up, you'll find it probably in the run position. There's also a button to set the current time date, the program start times, the station or the zone run times, and the days to water. Additionally, the green side shows where you can manually run all stations or an individual station. After making sure your current date and time is set correctly, turn the dial to set program start times. This will allow you to set up to four program start times per individual program. To toggle between the start times, use the arrows. Use the program button to toggle between the program start times. To adjust the individual start times, use the plus and minus button to increase or decrease the start time. Hold the button down to skip multiple minutes at a time. In this example, we'll set two multiple start times. One to start at 11.45 a.m. and the other to start at 6.45 a.m. Next, we'll set the station run times. Turn the dial to station run times. Here, you'll notice the station number or zone number and the amount of minutes that it's set to run for. Again, be wary of what program you're in. Adjust which program you're in by pushing the program button. To adjust the minutes, use the plus or minus sign and then use the right arrow to move to the next station or zone. Selecting specific days to, of the week to water is as simple as turning the dial to set days to water. Here a raindrop indicated that water is on for that day. A raindrop with a line through it indicates that it is off. You may adjust these by simply using the plus and minus button and the arrows to move through the day. After making your changes, simply turn the dial back to run and you're ready to go. For more information, go to www.hunterindustries.com. Similar to Hunter, most Rainbird controllers can be programmed the same way. First, notice if the current day and time are correct. Adjust the current date and current time here. You can adjust different start watering times there, days to water here, and valve or zone run times here. You have three programs with the Rainbird controllers that you can adjust. This button is used for advancing. This button, increasing and decreasing time. Let's go ahead and change the watering times. You'll notice the first watering time begins at 8.30 a.m. To change, use the up or down arrow to adjust the time. Advanced moves it to the second watering time, so if you want to add a second watering time to begin, you can use the arrows to do that. Pay close mind to what program you're in. Notice that the B program and C program do not have any time associated with it. Switch it up back to A and make sure you're adjusting the A program. To adjust the days to water, simply turn it to each day and use the arrows to turn it on or off. Next, you can turn it to each individual zone 
or station and adjust the runtime with the arrows. This is one of the Rainbird's best features, allowing easy access to each zone and each day of watering. Simply use the arrows to adjust the minutes. For more information about Rainbird controllers, go to www.rainbird.com.